Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve the example using Wigner cipher with the keyword method. In the given example, plain text says she is listening, and we have our keyword that is Pascal. Based on the keyword given, we have to convert our plain text message to cipher text message. As we already know in this table, like from A to Z alphabet, we are writing the index from 0 to 25. So let's start with our encryption process. For the encryption process, first of all, we have to write our plain text message. So our plain text is, she is listening. <coughs> now we have to write the plain text key value. So how we are writing the plain text key value? The first of all, for S, we are writing the number S is equal to 18. For H, we can write 7. For E, we can write 4. For I, it is 8. For S, again it is 18. For L, it is 11. For I, again it is S. Then for S, it is 18. And likewise, we have to complete the table. That is T is equal to 19. Then E is equal to 4. N is equal to 13. I is equal to again 8. N is equal to 13. And G is equal to 6. Now we have completed for writing our plain text key. Now we have to write our keyword. So what is our keyword? Our keyword is Pascal. So we have to write this keyword here that is Pascal. And we have to repeat this step till our plain text ends. So again we have to write here Pascal. And now our plain text ends. Then we have to stop this process. Now the next process is we have to write the key value for our keyword. For P, we can write 15. For A, we can write 0. For S, we can write 18. And likewise, we have to complete this table. Now we have done with our writing of our key value. Now next procedure is we have to identify the cipher value. So cipher value is nothing but the plain text key value and our key value that is obtained from the keyword. We have to add this 18 plus 15 and then we got the value that is 33. And likewise we have to identify all the cipher values from the P key value and the key value. Now next one is 7 plus 0, this 7 and this 0 is equal to 7. 18 plus 4 is equal to 22. Then 8 plus 2, 10. Then 18, then 22, then 23, again 18, then 37, then 6, then 13, 19, 28 and 6. Now the next step is we have to write down the cipher text letter from the cipher value. So the first value is 33. The value is not in a range between 0 to 25. That's why we have to take the mod of this 26. So whenever we are calculating 33 mod 26, then we will get the value that is 7. And for 7, we are writing the cipher text as H. For this 7, we are directly writing it as H. For 22, we can write it as W. For 10, we can write it as K. For 18, we can write S. And likewise, we have to calculate it for all the characters. Once we got the value that is, that is out of 25 value, then we need to take the mod of 26 from that value that is 37 more 26 then we got the value that is that is 11 and now next one we are writing for this 6 is equal to 
g then for 13 is equal to n for 19 we can write it as t then for 28 we are again taking a mod of 26 that is 2 and for 2 we can write it as c then for 6 we can write again g so now we got our ciphertext letter that is h h w k s w x s then g and t c and g and for this 11 we are again writing it as l so now our ciphertext become h h w k s w x s l g and t c g so by using this keyword method we have calculated our cipher text from our plain text.